Hello, welcome to Allen Baptist Church Daily Bible Study. Right now at Allen, we're going through 40 days of prayer, getting ready to take the gospel to every home around our, our church. And uh, today is day 10 in that process, uh, which we're thinking about uh, being a light. Um, in Matthew 5, 14 through 16, it says, You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Leading our uh, devotion and prayer today is Brother Dan Branson, one of our deacons. For years, our family had spent a lot of time and made incredible memories on Rough River Lake. As a child, it seemed that time stood still and we would find ourselves visiting often. Recently, we were able to venture out and enjoy being uh, in nature and uh, being kissed by the sun. We had a great day on the water, fishing, boating, and swimming enjoying the campfire, roasting hot dogs, and just being together. Around 7 p.m., we all jumped back in the boat to do some fishing after a warm summer day. The temperature was beginning to fall. Boaters were going in for the night. The sweet aroma of dinner cooking all along the river was wonderful, pres wonderfully present. The waves were beginning to calm, and it was a perfect evening. While the fishing was not great that night, on the way back to the dock, something incredible happened. The sun was almost set as we looked out into the distance. We saw a little campfire being lit. First it was one, then it was two, and then five, six, and then too many to count. Not only was the first campfire noticeable, but when many were lit, it was almost as if something turned on a big light in the dark sky. It was incredible. As we concluded our ride back to the dock, in almost complete darkness, the campfire seemed to illuminate the night sky individually and cooperatively together. It was almost as if it was a, as bright as the day reflecting on the greatness of our God. I could not help but think about the church, our mission, our vision. I could not help but think about Matthew 5, 14 through 16, quote, you are the light of the world, a city situated on a hill cannot be hidden in the same way let your light shine before others unquote rise up church be a light be whom god created uh, us to be there are so many people who have yet to hear the gospel or who have yet to call on him as savior and lord the time is now. We must not delay. We must be obedient and be proactive in sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. God has equipped us. We have just to be obedient and go. And as the church together, we can do even greater things for his kingdom. Let us pray. Father, please give your church a burning desire to go and to share the good news of Jesus Christ. May it be that we not lay out our heads or lay our heads down at night until we have shared the gospel with at least one person that day. Give us a passion for and favor to reach people with the gospel. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless the reading of his word, amen.